Hello, my beautiful friends. How's everybody doing today? If you're new, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I am so excited that you're here. So today I'm doing another video on Dollar Tree products. I was so impressed with that last haul. I had to go back and pick up some more and I did bring in some skincare. So I'm super excited to try all that out and some more makeup. So if that sounds like something you might enjoy, please stick around because we're going to get into all that right now. Because I was so impressed with Dollar Tree makeup, which is what I have on my face right now, and it's been on for over 12 hours. I kid you not. Anyway, I went back up to the Dollar Tree like two or three days later to get more of the foundation, and it was completely gone. I was like, how can that be? There was like, I don't know, maybe seven tubes when I went up there that day, and then I went back and it was completely wiped out. I found one tube, and I went to like five or six different Dollar Trees. Anyway, I saw a lot of like new skincare, and it looked pretty nice like the packaging at least so I was like I really want to try their skincare now they have another skincare out there that's supposed to be like a dupe to the glow recipe but I could not find that anywhere and I'm sure they will never get that again but I definitely want to try out this skincare now normally I start with like a makeup removing balm and I did find this it's called jelly facial cleanser it just says coconut water and aloe so it looks like this so let's start here and see how this does remove the makeup so um, it doesn't come with like a lot and yeah, it definitely looks like a jelly, but you know, in a pinch, this might be a really good. Okay. Now the bad thing is this looks like it was like already open. I don't even know how that could be because it was sealed. So this looks kind of scary, you guys. Oh my gosh. Well, this might be a complete a bust. Um, I'm almost nervous to even use this, but we're going to give it a try just to see. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what's on here. So yeah, it looks like a, a jelly form and let's try it. Again, this might be okay in a pinch if I was out, you know, on vacation or something and forgot my skincare or again, if my luggage got lost. So as of right now, it does feel good, but that looked really scary in the packaging. I'm afraid to even put this on my eyes. And here I go. I'm going to go on the eyes and just see how it removes my eye makeup. Um, yeah, a balm usually will just melt it off. Okay, it does feel like it's melting off the mascara, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, but we will see what it looks like when it wipes away. Um, I definitely smell like a aloe scent to this, so it's not super strong. There is definitely like a cooling sensation to this. And I'm definitely afraid to open my eyes while I have this on. <laughs> I do not want my eyes burning. So, okay, I did open my eyes. There is a slight a burning, just slight, but it is there. Okay, so that did remove my makeup really good, actually. Um, Yeah, I mean, I really have no trace of makeup anywhere, and even the mascara is completely gone. So I definitely want to go back up to the Dollar Tree and get another one of these and just see if they're all bad or just this jar here because this looks like it's just crystallizing there. So this is actually a really good product. So I definitely want to give this another try. So what I'll do is go up to the Dollar Tree and get another one and see if they're all bad. And I'll let you guys know in the description box. Okay, so every night I normally double cleanse and I did pick up a cleanser. And this is the new packaging that I'm talking about. I mean, look how nice this is. And this is called Glowing Vitamin C Facial Cleanser. So this has vitamin C, niacinamide, AHA, and vitamin E. So that is super impressive. Let's see what the consistency looks like on this. And so far, so good on the packaging. There is a seal. And let's see. So this looks like it's more like a cream base. So it looks like that. And there really is no sun to this. And it's not super watery. I thought it was going to be really watery, but it does look have a strange consistency, as you can see here. Um, I don't know if this is going to foam up. You know, maybe it needs more water. But as you can see, it's just kind of sitting on the skin. So I'm not too sure about the skincare yet. Um, I don't know. It does its job, but it's just weird, weird texture and consistency. So let's see if it like foams up. No, I don't see any like foaming or anything like that, but it's just very bizarre. So let's just wipe this clean and see what happens. 
and I'll definitely let you guys know if my skin breaks out or anything like that. My skin feels very clean. It doesn't feel super dry or tight uh, at this point. It just has a very bizarre consistency. You guys seen how it was, you know, kind of separating on my face. So let's try it on the back of my hand. Maybe it was because of the water uh, that was on my skin. So no, it's still like separating. Um, it's just very bizarre. So it could just be the product itself. Okay, so I do have another product that I want to try out, and this one's called Sukin. Uh, it's a brightening a jelly exfoliator, so it looks like this. Let's give this a try. Okay, so let's see the consistency of this. So this is what it looks like. There is like a slight perfume scent to this, and but it actually feels very nice. Um, it does have like that grit to it but it's not super, you know, abrasive or anything. It's actually gentle. So yeah, that's not too bad at all. Okay, I have some more skincare to try out. Um, actually from this brand here, and the brand is called Global Beauty Care, and they had three lines. So they had the Glowing, a Sensitive, and then this one here, the Smooth and Lift. So this here is a Smooth and Lift Collagen Facial a Serum. Uh, so this has peptides, hyaluronic acid, and squalene. So uh, let's give this a try and see what this is. Ooh, it does have like a little a dropper glass a bottle. So that's pretty uh, fancy. So let's give this a try and see if it's super watery. And no, it does have a thicker consistency. So I'm actually uh, pretty impressed with this one. Let's see what it feels like on the skin. Um, There's no scent to this, so that is very nice. It does, you know, absorb really quick. So for a serum, uh, that's pretty impressive. And I'm sure the active ingredients aren't super potent, but over time, like any skincare, I'm sure this would do its job. But I will say my skin feels actually very soft and smooth, it's not sticky. So this isn't a bad product. And then from the same line, the Smooth and Lift, I got a collagen eye cream. Uh, again, this has peptides, hyaluronic acid, and squalene. So let's take a look at this and see how it feels under the eyes. So it does have the standard um, eye cream packaging. And I'm just gonna place a little bit on the finger. So this has like a more jelly uh, substance. So this looks actually very uh, refreshing. This actually feels very nice under the eyes. You know, it's very soothing and cooling. Uh, so not too shabby whatsoever. So let's talk about this skincare. You know, a lot of it's not bad at all. It did its job. Uh, it, a lot of it just has bizarre consistency and textures, but for the most part, it's not bad whatsoever. And a lot of these are full-size products. Well, actually, all of them are full-size products. So uh, for $1.25, that is pretty impressive. So I'm just curious how my skin is going to react in the morning and I'll be back in the morning because I actually have more skincare to try out and more makeup. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, friends. So I'm happy to say I didn't get any reactions and I didn't break out from any of the products I tried, but I will say that my under eyes do feel slightly drier than usual. But like I also mentioned, I do have more skincare I want to try out and more makeup. And I wasn't kidding when I said I went back up to the Dollar Tree and purchased more makeup. I think I cleaned them out because look at what I got. I am not kidding when I said I really enjoyed their makeup. So I'm super excited to try some of these products out. But first, let's try out some of this new skincare. And again, I'm going to be using the Global Beauty Care, uh, the Glowing Line, and I picked up a Vitamin C Facial Serum. And again, this has niacinamide in it, AHAs, and Vitamin E. So let's take a look at the packaging and see what this looks like. Ooh, again, it has glass packaging and the little dropper. So that just makes you feel a little fancier, I think. So this does look like a thicker a serum as well. So let's try it out and see if there is a scent. And again, it is thicker, like I mentioned, and there is no scent. Now, the only thing with the vitamin C, it should be in a dark packaging. Uh, it really should not be in, you know, a clear packaging because it can go bad if it's out in the light. So if you do pick this up, I would definitely, you know, keep it in a dark um, area. 
So um, it actually feels very uh, soothing on the skin and it absorbs rather quickly. So uh, yeah, that's very nice. Again, I just wish it was in a darker uh, packaging. It just makes you question the product a little bit. And I also picked up an under eye cream and this also is by the Global Beauty Care, uh, but this is called the Lift and Firm. So this looks different than their other packaging, but I definitely want to give this a try. Uh, this says it just is a depuffing and tightening a cream, but it also says that it does have collagen, um, peptides, uh, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. So a lot of ingredients in here. So let's take a look at the packaging of this. And again, you know, it's just a typical eye cream uh, packaging. So that's what it looks like. Ooh, this one feels a little bit more soothing under the eye. Um, it just feels more hydrating than the one that I used last night. So maybe because the one last night was more like a jelly substance and this one is more of a cream. So I actually like this one a little bit better as of right now. So that is it of the skincare that I picked up. So what I'll do is just apply the rest of my skincare, my eyebrows, come back and we'll try out some of this new makeup. Okay, the rest of my skincare is applied. I already did my eyebrows and my eyeshadow. And the palette that I used was the one I used the other day. And if you want to see that palette in action, I'll place that video up here. And the palette that I used was the one by LA Color. So again, I got this at the Dollar Tree. And what I did was start with this deeper shade and place that in the crease. And then I just diffused that uh, with this shade right here. And then I used this as a shimmer. So it's just a very simple look, but I absolutely love it. So I actually really do like this palette uh, a lot better today. And then for the mascara, I just used the one I picked up um, again from the Dollar Tree, uh, this one here. And it's a very nice mascara. I think, you know, it does a pretty good job. I like how it just flicks away because I make it, you know, quite the mess when I do my mascara. Okay, let's get into the rest of this makeup. I'm super excited to try some of these products out. But let me recap why I went back uh, to the Dollar Tree. So I went back actually uh, for this here, this foundation. I absolutely love this. And it's actually called a tinted uh, moisturizer with hyaluronic acid. And I got mine in the shade medium. But it's a perfect shade match and I absolutely love it. I cannot stop using it. That's why I went back and I did buy on the last tube of this one. Uh, but when I was looking for that one, I ran across this one here. And this is called Essentially Ageless Hydrating a Serum. And it's in light medium, but it looks awfully deep or yellow. So I'm hoping I'm going to love this one just as much. And I also went back uh, to get more of the concealer because I absolutely uh, love this too. Now, originally, I was not going to buy more of these because, you know, I don't need a lot of concealer. I don't use a lot of concealer, but when I saw they were out of this, then I had to go back and get more of the concealer. So um, I do have backups of the concealer as well. Okay, so let's try out this new makeup. Um, I do want to try something I did pick up. Um, this one is called a makeup correcting a pen. So it looks like this. So um, yeah, <laughs> it looks like a little jelly here, but what it's supposed to do is like erase the makeup or your mistakes. So I left a few here just on purpose. So I do have like a little bit of mascara right there. So I'm going to see if it really cleans it away. Mm, not really, if you ask me. So let's just do this. It does feel like it's almost like an oily a base, but it doesn't really wipe it away. It just, you know, leaves like a substance there. So if you go back over it, it might wipe away. But it's not like, the, you know, most of those makeup removing uh, pens that I've used in the past. So, you know, I guess just for a quick little touch up, it almost feels like it's, you know, oil based. So I don't know about this one here. So I'll keep playing around with it and see what it does. Uh, <laughs> almost dropped that. Okay, let's get into this uh, foundation and see how much I do uh, like it. Um, so again, it's in a uh, light medium but it does look a uh, pretty deep so let me see how deep it is uh let's give it a try on the face though yeah that looks pretty deep and it does have like um i don't know like an orange or yellow a tint to it so i am going to have to do some adjusting here so let's just try uh, using like a white pigment to it and just see if that does the job or if i have to add some blue to it as well so ooh, that is a uh, pretty deep so oh i hope i am going to like this as much as the other one so i'm going to show you how much white pigment i'm going to add to this and let's start here so again, if you have pigment in your collection, uh, you can basically buy any shade foundation. Uh, you can use bronzing uh, drops to deepen it, 
or you know the white to lighten it and you can use blue to sometimes take away um, that yellow or orange a tint so hmm let's see how this works I may have lightened it up too much but look at the difference that is a crazy so now I'm going to have to add just a little bit more <laughs> of that foundation or serum just to deepen this up but once I know you know the shade or how much pigment I have to add then it does get a lot easier so this one feels um relatively the same as the other one it might be a little thinner uh the other one is quite thick but i absolutely love it it looks so beautiful on the skin it just looks so hydrating oh absolutely i can't say enough about it i even did a TikTok on it because it was so nice. And I honestly have been wearing it to work at last all day. You know, if I set it with some powder and setting spray. So let's see how this is covering and if I like it as much. Okay, so far so good. I think I matched it to my skin a uh, pretty good. It might be just slightly light, but like I said, you know, I can always, you know, figure out how much pigment I do have to add to my products. Yeah, I think I went a little bit uh, too light, but I can deepen that up with some uh, bronzer. But right now I'm just wanting to focus, you know, if I do like this as much as the other uh, tinted uh, serum that I do have. So, you know what? This one does look as creamy. It looks as hydrating. Um, so once I get the shade right, um, I think it's going to be okay. Hopefully they will continue uh, carrying that as well. So that is what it looks like. And what do you guys think of the shade match? I actually think it's not too bad at all. So I will say it applied relatively the same. It looks, you know, very similar uh, to the other one. I think uh, this one here is just slightly more hydrating or it just has more of a dewy uh, finish. But this one looks really nice as well. Um, I'm just curious, you know, how long it's going to last because, again, this one lasts, you know, 12 hours. You guys seen that last night. And I'll let you guys know how long it did last in the description box, so make sure to look there. And what I also love about this foundation is I feel like I could just use my brush. You know, it's not streaky or anything. I don't feel like I have to go back over it with my sponge. So, again, they're super impressive. That's why I am sharing, you know, two videos about these products. They are really impressive okay i also want to share with you um the concealer again because i've been using a color corrector with it and i do want to show you you can do that um it plays well with it so i'm just going to use my catrice one uh this is just called the under eye brightener if they had one at the dollar tree i didn't see it and i definitely would have picked it up so today we're just going uh, to use this so i'm just looking up for my brush as usual okay i got my brush here so what i've been doing is just placed a little bit of this color corrector and I place that in my inner and outer corner because that's where I have most of my discoloration. So I just place just very little. And as you can see how much of a difference uh, that did. So yeah, I just want to show you it can really play well with other makeup as well. Okay, again, I'm going to use this concealer, and I got mine in the shade Fair. Now, they did have a lot of the concealers up there, as you guys seen. Uh, so, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. It's the foundation that I'm having a hard time uh, finding. So, I'm just going to place a little bit on my brush and just go over where I laid the Catrice. And you're going to see how creamy and hydrated my under eyes look. And again, I don't use a lot of the product. I just use enough, you know, just to cover any darkness. I'm not really trying to conceal any wrinkles because that's not going to happen with any concealer, I don't think. If you guys know of one, let me know because I haven't found one yet. And what I will say is that I don't have to set this with powder. Uh, believe it or not, you know, it looks super creamy and it looks like it definitely needs to be set. But I can get away without setting this. Uh, somehow it just dries down, but it never dries down, you know, looking super dry. You know, it always looks, you know, very hydrated. I just absolutely love this stuff. I cannot say enough. You know, I am just floored that some of these products are better than my high end, a lot of my high end. And I'm not over exaggerating at all. Um, I wouldn't go back and buy this many products if I was <laughs> kidding about these because, yeah, I am just so, like I said, over and over super impressed by their products 
Okay, so the concealer's all applied. My under eyes look super hydrated, so I'm super happy about that. And I don't have a bronzer from the Dollar Tree, so what I'm going to use is this one here. I get this off Amazon. It's like a Charlotte Tilbury dupe, uh, and it's called a Glow Glam. So I'm just going to apply this, come back, and we'll go through the rest of the products. Okay, so the bronzer's all applied, and I forgot, I did pick up a new little product of this plumping gloss here, so I definitely want to give this a try. So let's try this out and see if it stings, you know, really bad, or if there's any stinging whatsoever. And again, this is just called Make Me Up a Plumping Gloss. So this is what the packaging looks like, and this is what it looks like um, out of the packaging. So super cute. So let's see what this stuff does. Oh, there is like a floral scent to this. Oh, I do not like it when like a lip gloss does have like a floral scent. Oh, yeah, it is just, ooh, you know, I do not like it. Yeah, I may have to take this off. I don't know. I can take a lot of scents, but like a, you know, a strong floral scent, mm, I just can't take. But let me just try to bear with it for a few minutes and just see if it has that tingling sensation. But as of right now, I'm not getting that. It's more like minty. And I will say that floral scent is kind of going away. But I am getting a little bit of tingling, so, but not bad. It doesn't hurt at all. So I will say, you know, that product is a lot more enjoyable the longer it's sitting on my lips. Okay, and I got some new blushes, uh, actually three of them. Now, two of these I'm super excited to try out. Uh, these ones here, supposedly these are dupes to the Tower 28, and we'll see about that. So I got two shades. Uh, this one here, it's called A Fun in the Sun, and this one is Late Night. So I'm trying to decide uh, what shade I want to go with. Actually, both of them I uh, will go you know really well with this look but I do have a new lip product and I think uh, this shade will match that a uh, better so it looks like this and let's see if it's creamy yes it's super creamy and let's swatch this one so it's kind of sheer but it does dry down to almost like a powdery a uh, finish so let me open up this one here the fun in the sun and swatch this one as well and just see what it looks like and that is the swatch to that one. So that is really a pretty. But I definitely still want to try uh, this one here, the Late Night. So I'm just going to place that on a brush. And we'll see how pigmented it is. I grabbed way too much product. But I'm just going to blend this in really well. And I can always go back over that with some foundation if I need to. But it's a beautiful a shade. I will say that. So, yeah, this is very deceitful uh, from the swatch. It did not look like it was going to be super pigmented, but it is really a pretty. I haven't used, you know, Tower 28 in a very, very long time other than their foundation. So I really can't say, but if you guys know and if you know what it looks like, uh, let me know in the comments and others just to let them know if it looks, you know, kind of similar. So I am going to go over it with my foundation brush uh, just to calm this down. But let me take a closer look just to see if it's, you know, blotchy or if it lifted my foundation. No, it did not. It looks very smooth, uh, very pretty. So this is what it looks like. So my skin is glowing a big time right now. So I'm definitely going to use some powder uh, to set this. So uh, let me do that off camera. I'll come back and I do have some more products to try out. Okay, to set my face, I use my Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus. And I do want to share with you guys the packaging to that blush if you were interested and wanted to go to the Dollar Tree and take a look. Uh, so it looks like this. It's called a Clean Beauty, and it's called a Lip Color and Cream Blush Duo. So apparently you can apply that on your cheeks and your lips. So one day I will try that on the lips. Okay, so like I mentioned, I do have another blush I want to try out, and this one's a powdered blush. Uh, it's just called Precious Mineral, and it's a Natural Glow, a shade 12, I believe. So let's try this out. I don't know if there's like little glitter specks in there or something, but yeah, it kind of looks like there might be. So let's see what this looks like. I don't think I need any more blush, but I definitely want to give this a try. So yeah, this one is more like an orangey uh, shade, so I'm not going to apply a too much. But let me just see if there is like a, a glow to this. Um, no, I'm not really seeing any glitter or highlighter or anything like that. So hmm, apparently I, I applied a little bit too much. That is super <laughs> Pigmented. Some of their products you got to be really uh, careful with because they are really uh, pigmented. So, yeah, let me fix that up a little bit. 
Okay, and I think the only other new thing I have is um, some lipstick. So I did pick up another one of these because I absolutely I love this one. It's more like a lip balm. Really good. But then they had another Tower 28 dupe, supposedly. Um, and it looks like this. So I definitely want to try this one out. But then I found these lipsticks. And I haven't seen anybody talk about these. So... It looks like this. What does that look like? Doesn't that kind of look like the Maybelline one? So <laughs> I got two shades. I definitely want to try these. Um, and I can't even see the shades. They are so faint. So I'll put that in the uh, description box. Yeah, I, can, I can't even see these, you guys. So I got to decide what shade I do want to try today. Let's try them both. Let's see what happens. So let's start with the darker shade here. So again, this is what the packaging looks like here. Okay, so this is red. This definitely will not go with the look. But um, yeah, it's a lot different than the Maybelline. The Maybelline is more like on a wand. Uh, this is a true lipstick here. So let's see the formula though and see what it feels like. But I thought the packaging was really cool. Okay, so this goes on kind of waxy. Uh, I feel like I have to apply a lot of pressure. But that's a very pretty shade. Mm, there is like some kind of scent, not scent, but taste to that. I don't know. It was almost sweet. And there is like a sweet scent. So that's pretty interesting. Um, these aren't bad. You know, once you get past, look what I just did. <laughs> once you get past the waxy feel, um, it does glide on a pretty good. So again, this is this shade here. Mm, very uh, pretty. I definitely would wear this shade um, because it's a really pretty red. It's not that orange red. It has more like that blue undertone that I absolutely love. So I'm super happy I got that. So let me um, remove this. I'll come back and we'll try uh, this shade. Okay, I actually found the shades to these. So this one is Mocha and this one is Ruby Red. So let's see what Mocha looks like. Um, I actually like how these feel, to tell you the truth. Um, like I said, once you get past that waxy feel, uh, this one actually I think is going to look more orange on me. Um, yeah, and it actually looks even more orange um, even against my hand here. So let's just see what it looks like. I thought it was going to be, I don't know, more brown. Hmm, very interesting. I actually like the other shade uh, with this look a lot better. But I do have another product I want to try out. It's this one here. Again, this is supposed to be a dupe to the uh, Tower 28. And this is in the shade Rose. So maybe that will change up this lipstick a little bit. So this is the packaging here. So I can tell where people or see where people are saying that's a dupe uh, to the Tower 28. So let's take a look at the wand. So that is the wand here. So I thought this was more of a gloss. So what I'm going to do actually is take this off. Okay, my light burned out. So sorry about that. I cut there because I was like, oh my gosh, my light went out. So again, I'm going in with the shade Rose and the Tower 28, a dupe. So let's take a look at this shade. So, I mean, this one is nice. Um, I thought it was going to be more pigmented, but I definitely would use this. It feels very creamy on the lips. Uh, it's, you know, super hydrating. Um, it's not sticky whatsoever. So, mm, yeah, this is actually a very nice a product. So hopefully the lighting is okay. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on up there. Okay, so I think that is it with all my new products. Um, I did pick up, actually, oh no, I do have like a brow product here. I totally uh, forgot. So I definitely want to try this out. It's by Ioni. <laughs> So it's this here. So I don't know if it's clear or what this is, you guys. I just grabbed anything from her line. So is there even a shade? Oh my gosh, there is. There is a pencil on the other end. Um, I think this would be too light for me. I don't know. Possibly not. So let me just take a look. It does feel a little bit waxy, but not, yeah, I think this is going to be a too light for me. But, you know, if you had lighter hair, this would be really nice because it actually feels really good um, when I did swatch it on the back of my hand. But what I'm really interested in is uh, this end here, if I can get it off. 
Oh, you know what I thought this was? Uh, no, this is all just a pencil. Oh, I'm bummed. I thought it was like a gel. So this product uh, yeah, was a, um, a fail for me. Um, it might work on somebody else. Anyway, okay, so I think that is it out of my new products. So what I think I'm going to do is just go back into the palette, uh, finish the under eye. I'll come back and I'll do like a speed review on all the products. Okay, let's talk about all the products and let's start with the skincare. Honestly, some of those products were not bad at all. Now, would I use it on a daily basis? Probably not. But if I was on an extreme budget, I would definitely consider it. And also, you know, if I was on vacation, I forgot my skincare or if it got lost in the luggage like I mentioned I would definitely pick up a couple of those products but let's talk about the makeup you guys know how I feel about uh, those products a lot of these I absolutely adore and will be devastated when I can't find them again so um, you guys know how I feel about the concealer and the foundation now the new foundation or uh, tinted serum uh, this one here is okay you know yes I do have to do uh, some adjusting but honestly it's not bad at all I think I got a pretty good uh, shade mask now I will say as of right now I do think I like this one a little better but I definitely will let you guys know in the description box how this one holds up you guys know I love the concealer uh, the things I would give a pass on is this one here I didn't see a huge difference when I use this you know that uh, makeup removing a pen so this I would pass on I would pass on the eyebrow pencil of course only because it's the wrong shade uh, so basically those are the only two products I would really a pass on even that a uh, limp lip plumping oil wasn't bad once that floral uh, scent went away is it my favorite thing no and would I repurchase it probably not but I'm not mad and I will use it um, because I did purchase it so the rest of the things I really do love including that eyeshadow palette I really do like that now so I might go back and get more of those shades so yeah you just kind of play around with their makeup you know and see how it works you know especially and the skincare and just play around and see what works for your skin and your liking. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, if you please do me a huge favor before you go and hit that like button. It truly does help me out and the channel. All right, you guys, I can't wait to see you again. I love you so much and until next time.